What's going on guys, Bengal again here coming back at you with another video and today we're doing another career resim. You can tell from the title and the team from the top right, I am doing a Barry Sanders career resimulation. Now, Barry Sanders is one of the best players in NFL history regardless of position. He's probably, without question, the best running back of all time. Some will go Emmett Smith. Okay, Emmett Smith ran by the best offensive line of all time on Super Bowl teams, accumulated a lot of yards, played forever. Barry Sanders retired young because who could blame him playing on some of these atrocious Lions teams? Career absolutely went to waste, never really accomplishing much as a team, but Barry Sanders individually was amazing. Of course, he was taken at number three overall in 19, 1989? 1989, yep, uh, he was a rookie, and the Oklahoma State kid could play a little bit. He had uh, 10 Pro Bowl appearances, won an MVP, six-time All-Pro. He was the Offensive Rookie of the Year. He was the Offensive Player of the Year in 1994. Really, really good player. Finished with over 15,000 career rushing yards, 99 career touchdowns. Did have a fumbling problem at the start of his career, but figured it out pretty quickly. En route to 109 total touchdowns for his career. He was a pretty good player. Over 18,000 yards from scrimmage. In my opinion, the best running back of all time. And we're going to see what he does. Probably not playing for the Lions here in Madden 21. This video is sponsored by Hawthorne. One of my favorite companies to work with because this is a company whose products I use every single day of my entire life. Whether you're talking about their great conditioner, shampoo I love as well. Those are probably my two favorite products paired together. But also... This deodorant is incredible, smells great, and keeps you smelling and most importantly, feeling great. When you smell great, you feel great, goes hand in hand, use this every single day, and you can as well. It doesn't have to be exactly what I have because you're gonna take an individual, personalized quiz designed all for you. Talking about your hair type, your skin type, how often you shower, bunch of different questions on there. It's so quick and easy though. And then they'll help you find products that work exactly for you down to the smell, down to exactly what you need. Hawthorne, really, really awesome company. They make you feel great like I feel great. All you have to do, go down, click the link in the description, use code BANGLE10, you're gonna get a great discount on these essential items. Makes for a great gift during the holiday season as well, so definitely take advantage of this opportunity while you still can. Link is in the description. Remember, use code BANGLE10. So I have created Barry Sanders, here he is. 21 years old at the time of his being drafted. So he might have a long career ahead of him. Gave him A-plus ball, carrier vision, A-spin move, A-juke move. Now, while Barry Sanders wasn't the fastest running back of all time, and that's not to say that he didn't have great speed, because he did, but he made a living being quicker than everybody else in the field. His change of direction, super juiced, acceleration, super high, elusiveness, agility, all that super high break tackle. Barry Sanders could stop and start on a dime run around the entire field. I think he has like negative a thousand rushing yards for his career, but has also made up for it by turning some of those negative plays or would be negative plays into 50 plus yard gains. Barry Sanders was unbelievable and it should be really, really interesting to see what team takes him in a fantasy world where we give him another shot to re-enter the NFL draft, but this time not in 1989, in 2021. He's jumping into this current draft class. We're going to say he's playing over Chuba Hubbard at Oklahoma State. And while I understand running backs don't go very high in the draft anymore, here's the deal. Barry Sanders is an NFL Hall of Famer. He's the highest rated player in this current draft class, I promise you. And he's really, really good. We've seen Saquon go at number two overall just a few years ago. So if there's a generational type running back like Barry Sanders would be, I can assure you he'd go pretty high in the draft as the Jets take Trevor Lawrence. The Jags at number two go Justin Fields. This could be a spot for Barry Sanders right here. Chargers at three go Panay Sewell. Where is Barry going to go? To the Cincinnati Bengals. Oh my goodness. All right. 82 overall in the draft. He's going to Cincinnati. They already have Joe Mixon. That's an interesting spot. Okay. We'll simulate to the end of the draft and see how his career as a Cincinnati Bengals go or Bengal goes. Is that a lot better than the Lions? I guess for the sake of simulation, it is. The Bengals are actually usually pretty good in sim. So Barry Sanders headed to a pretty good team. 
So this is how Barry Sanders looks as a member of the Cincinnati Bengals. 82 overall coming out. And of course, he wore massive pads. <laughs> so I tried my best to recreate that. It looks ridiculous. But uh, that is our creation of Barry Sanders. 82 overall rookie. 82 break tackle. 93 speed. 97 acceleration. 95 agility. 76 carrying. Again, he had 10 fumbles as a rookie. So he put the ball on the ground a pretty decent amount. 91 ball carrier vision. Decent trucking and stiff arm, although not that great. 86 juke, 86 spin, 96 change of direction coming out, 76 catching. So this is a really, really good player already. 82 overall, but how much is he even going to play? At the very least, I want him to be our third down running back, but can I really start him over Joe Mixon right now? He just signed a big contract extension. Why did the Bengals take him, man? Why did they take Barry? We'll have him be a backup for just this first year. And we'll see how year number two goes, but I can't just start him over Joe Mixon. I mean, maybe next season, because it depends how they progress, you know? If Barry Sanders is up to like an 86 overall and is way younger, he might steal some snaps from Joe Mixon as we'll simulate to the playoffs. Did not make the playoffs, finished 6-10. and I don't know, it all seems too familiar for Barry Sanders. Rushing. He averaged 3.4 yards per carry as a rookie. Three touchdowns. Joe Mixon was pretty incredible. Averaging 6.3 yards per carry. Barry Sanders over 500 as a rookie, but does have superstar X factor. He hasn't really been upgraded too much. A little bit. Agility is going up. Break tackle a little bit. Juke and spin move a little bit. Would love to see carry and get into the 80s. Not, he's not going to get satellite. I'm going to give him first one free. Running back apprentice, no. Let's give him spin cycle. And also jukebox, maybe. Or yearly awards. We're not going to see him for MVP. I wonder if we ever will. Probably not. AFC Offense Player of the Year is Kaepernick. No Barry. Offense Rookie of the Year is Trevor Lawrence. Barry Sanders at number six. So I would love you guys to hit that subscribe button if you are not subscribed already. We're on the path to 250k just around the corner so every single bit helps it's completely free as long as you have a google account which i'm sure you do gmail youtube whatever scroll down hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already as we jump into season number two and yeah barry sanders is going to start this season i think that's pretty obvious joe mixon got up to superstar x factor are you kidding me uh well this is the career reason I'm, I'm not trying to get too involved just trying to see what happens but Come on, man. Why did the Bengals have to take Barry? I get maybe a whole running back by committee thing, but we'll have him be the third down running back. I can't start him over Joe Mixon. I can't do it. Like, I get that this is the Barry Sanders career sim. I completely understand that. Don't get me wrong. But it's the career resim. We got to follow what happens. And there's no scenario where he starts over Joe Mixon at this point in his career. He is the third down running back. I mean, he'll get fairly involved that way. Could I maybe even get him some reps at slot receiver? I don't think we can unless we change him to receiver. Because only a tight end can move in. Oh, we actually could. I wonder how many catches he'll get as a number two guy. All right, we'll try doing that. And how many receiving yards did he have last year? Because I don't remember checking that. Kind of forgot about that being an option. Let's see. Barry Sanders. Stats and contracts, of course. He had 14 catches for 226 yards. Um, all he has right now is he's a top five draft pick. Went one pick later than he did in 1989. Has some uh, pretty good traits. I think we'll agree. What is happening outside? I'm not sure if y'all can even hear that, but uh, there's like, there's a lot of noise. I don't like it. Did not make the playoffs in 2022, finishing five and 11. Burrow was okay. Seventh best offense. Really leaned on the rushing game. Joe Mixon, 14 touchdowns, but Barry Sanders on 149 carries is getting more involved. Only 3.8 yards per carry. I think a lot of that is because he's a backup right now. 559 rushing yards, four rushing touchdowns. Did fumble the ball, broke 29 tackles. And then receiving, we got Barry Sanders, 17 catches for 206 yards and three touchdowns. What is happening? Can you guys even hear that? Probably not. It just seems like me freaking out for no reason. Uh, he's not going to get any votes for anything other than maybe best running back. Joe Mixon at two. Barry Sanders does not receive any votes. 
Of course, he's still a backup in his second year. Season number three, Barry Sanders is up to an 87 overall. It just sucks because, like, you know, there's somebody ahead of him. Did he drop and change a direction? How did he regress? That doesn't even make sense. I swear it was at 97, was it not? I could have sworn, but it's 96 now, regardless of what I think it may have been. I thought it was 97. Change of direction. Maybe it was lower? I find that hard to believe, but he is still second on the depth chart. He's going to be our third down running back. They drafted another running back. But the most interesting thing right now is going to be the contracts. If we see running back right now, Joe Mixon has two years remaining. Barry Sanders has two years remaining. Are they really going to be able to re-sign both these guys? So that's the moment in time where Barry Sanders' career should really, really, really take off. Right now, it's just being staggered a bit. His growth, I should say, is being staggered a bit. I mean, I must live in a construction zone. 12-4, and four, though. Won the division at 12-4. and four. Fourth best offense, Joe Burrow went off. 4,200 yards, 40 touchdowns, 10 picks, rushing. Barry Sanders has a mark of the beast, 666 rushing yards, averaged 4.3 per carry, had five touchdowns, his best season of his career. Joe Mixon still playing well, but Barry starting to steal some of those carries as a receiver. Had 20 catches for 277 and three touchdowns. That's a really, really good season for a backup running back. Yearly awards, Joe Burrow at number two for MVP. AFC Offense Player of the Year, Lamar Jackson. Burrow at two. No Mixon. Best running back, Josh Jacobs. Mixon at four. Does Barry sneak into the top 10? He doesn't. Can we beat the Chiefs in the wild card, though? Yes. Ravens in the divisional is going to be tough, but not tough enough. Dude, can you stop with the construction? Is that too much to ask? I'm going to stop worrying about it. Uh, we're going to move past the Raiders here very easily. Packers in the Super Bowl. Oh my goodness. This Bengals team and Barry Sanders could win a Super Bowl in only his third season. Never really got close in real life. In the fantasy land of Madden 21, things are different. He's a backup, which never happened in his career. But he's a backup running back. And he's in the Super Bowl. He's a 90 overall as well. Let's jump in. 7-7 here in the second quarter. Packers take a lead 14-7. Now 21-7, but the Bengals answer with a touchdown. And then another touchdown. It's 21-21. Need another. Need another TD. And we get one. It's 27-27. Packers going to punt it away. And we're jumping in on offense. Let's get Barry Sanders to play here. Let's see what he looks like. He actually does kind of look like Barry Sanders. So that's good. And we're going to get a run up the middle. Nice juke back from Barry. He breaks a tackle. Hey, pretty good run in there from the guy. Fifth rush of the game. He's at 29 yards. Averaging over 5 per carry. 5.8 to be exact. Exactly his height, 5'8". And he's going to stay in the game for a screen. Barely got it out to him. Barry Sanders, per usual, trying to make things happen. Try another screen on second and five. Oh, he has space. He's just got to outrun some guys. And there goes Barry Sanders. Juke back to the inside. Breaks a tackle. This is the Barry Sanders we're used to. Give him another carry here. Looking for space. Tried to juke. He's just like, nah, I'm going to just go straight. Okay. Not exactly the most uh, north-south runner of all time in Barry Sanders. Does that time, though. And we're not seeing any Joe Mixon. But we are not here for Joe Mixon. We're here for Barry. Oh, that almost looked like a Barry Sanders-type run. If only we could have found a lot of space. Didn't exactly happen, but maybe this is the storyline where Barry Sanders outplays Joe Mixon in the Super Bowl in the game where it matters most and ends up... Oh, okay, almost a nice move. I'm trying to get too crazy, but that's Barry Sanders for you. But maybe in this storyline, right? Barry Sanders outplays Joe Mixon in the Super Bowl, earns a starting job, and maybe that's all she wrote. Might be a Super Bowl legend. Barry Sanders. I just launched a pick. Trying to be uh, too crazy. Forcing the ball to Barry. It's the Barry Sanders career sim. Doesn't mean I only have to give the ball to Barry Sanders. I guess. Mm, kind of does. Okay, we're in overtime. The Packers punted back. And that's a mistake. Because we're going to get Barry going. 
We just got it to him on the screen. We got good blocks out in front. Good blocks. Barry, make somebody miss, please. Oh, there we go. There we go, Barry. That's a first down or thereabouts. Oh, we got Barry Sanders in the game. Can he make somebody miss on a catch? Or is it only on a run? Guaranteed. We're gonna find out. Oh, he actually absolutely can. Look at those moves. The juke back into the spin. He was almost gone. Here we go, Barry. Oh, breaks a tackle. Spin move. Barry Sanders. I'm getting wild. First one free is unlocked, and we're getting crazy. We're getting crazy with these moves. I mean, could we... Could we do a spin move? Or a juke move and make somebody miss? I don't know. Do you think first one free works with hurdles? Oh, we got blockers out in front. You're blocking the wrong guys. <laughs> Come on, man. I had a touchdown, I feel like. Nine catches for a 102 for Barry Sanders, though. He's still got energy. We're going to feed him the ball here. Go, Barry. There's the juke. It's a hurdle. Why do I keep saying juke? Mixing in the game now. We got it to him. And he scores a touchdown. <laughs> Didn't go to Barry Sanders, but Joe Mixon with the receiving touchdown to win a Super Bowl for the Cincinnati Bengals and Barry Sanders. Really odd game. But Barry got the Super Bowl here in just his third season. Something he never did in his entire NFL career. Joe Burrow won player of the game. And because Barry Sanders is not a starting running back, he is not going to be on the podium lifting the Lombardi. Really, really unfortunate. But there are always second opportunities. Could win it somewhere else. Of course... Joe Mixon's up there. No Barry just yet. But you never know. Somewhere down the line. As we jump into Season 4. Last year of his contract. But there is a 5th year option. There is not a 5th year option for Joe Mixon. Who is also in the final year of his contract. 2024. Coming off a Super Bowl win. Joe Mixon. Final year of his contract. Barry Sanders. Again. Final year of his contract. He's a 90 overall. Already. Backup running back with some elite talent. 83 carrying he's up to. So hopefully not going to fumble once he finally becomes a starter. But do we give Barry the nod here over Joe Mixon? 96 versus a 90. I think unfortunately we just have to keep it how it is. Final year for Joe Mixon in Cincinnati maybe. So we'll see what happens. Simulating to the playoffs. Final year. Who stays? Who goes? Should be very fun to find out. Did both of them stay? Barry's going to be the starting running back next year, no matter what, wherever he goes. So it doesn't really matter, but we'll see. Playoff team here in 2024. 13th best offense. Joe Burrow didn't do a whole lot. And that's because Joe Mixon went off. 1,400 yards and 22 touchdowns. But look at Barry Sanders. 170 attempts, 819 yards, nine touchdowns averaging almost five yards per carry he's up to a 92 overall oh my goodness he looks ridiculous trucking and stiff arm kind of low broke 35 tackles 104 yards after contact at a 45 yard gain and then as a receiver 12 catches for 201 and a touchdown he might get some votes for running back of the year as baker wins mvp with the eagles and how does joe mixon not get any votes with 22 rushing touchdowns. Gets in at 8 for Offensive Player of the Year. Best running back, Joe Mixon. Barry Sanders still not even included in the top 10. Oh, that's ridiculous. We'll see if we can beat the Raiders here in the wild card. It happens. Browns in the divisional. Are we going to go back to the Super Bowl? 30-24 over Cleveland. Oh my goodness, just one game away. Barry Sanders, still not the starter. Are we going to be back in the Super Bowl? The answer is yes. The Bengals are back in the Super Bowl for the second consecutive year. It's in Atlanta. Barry Sanders is still not the starter. So I think we'll simulate this one and see what happens. We won 44-38. The Bengals are Super Bowl champions yet again. We've already seen the celebration. I don't really care to see it without Barry Sanders at the moment. So that's why we didn't jump in there. But 44-38 over the Cowboys. How did Barry do? 
12 carries for 46 yards. It was Joe Mixon who really stole the show. 120 yards, two touchdowns. But this is a big moment in time. This is a huge moment. What is going to happen in free agency? Who's here? Who's gone? Joe Mixon signed a massive contract extension. Oh my goodness. You know who's not here? Barry Sanders. The Bengals chose to keep Joe Mixon over Barry Sanders. Oh my. All right, turned off offseason free agent bidding just for a minute so I can see what the market for Barry Sanders is. And he may have even signed already as we jump in here. It's not going to be us, so I'm fine with jumping in. As Barry Sanders is not here, and that's because he signed with the team already. And Barry Sanders has signed with the San Francisco 49ers. They were one pick away from drafting him. And now he gets to free agency. They have the opportunity to sign him. And guess what? Barry Sanders takes it. The 25-year-old, 93 overall superstar X-Factor running back is headed to the Bay. He's going to play tailback for the San Francisco 49ers. Oh my goodness, we got to change teams. And Sean McDermott is the head coach. That's interesting. But let's go ahead and check out this 49ers team. Barry Sanders, can he do it in San Fran? We'll have to, well, Santa Clara is where they play, but you guys get, they're the San Francisco 49ers. Give me a break. So it's a pretty good team. 85 offense, 84 defense. Barry Sanders finally is the sole starter at long last. Honestly, looking pretty good in 49ers colors. I think the 49ers uniforms are amazing. He looks kind of ridiculous because the shoulder pads are so big, but I swear. Let's pull up a picture of Barry. You're going to see. Like, he played in a massive, massive jersey. Huge shoulder pads. I mean, look at this. They're huge. <laughs> they look so massive. It is ridiculous. And some he has a visor, some he doesn't. I tried to get like everything correct. I think I did a really good job with the, uh, the uniform as a whole. But yeah, I mean, the pads are just so huge. It looks ridiculous, but guess what? I mean, he's arguably the best running back of all time. So does it matter how he looks? If he just can dominate? No. Really good, up to 94 speed, 97 acceleration, 95 agility. 96 change of direction, juke and spin move into the 90s, carrying at 85. He will undoubtedly end up being a 99 overall. But this should be a really fun offense. Damn, they drafted Micah Parsons. Fred Warner's gone. Pretty good looking team though, but finally Barry Sanders is the starter. He's not the power back though. Is that Najee Harris? It is. So we'll keep Najee in that role. You just have Barry Sanders be the starter and the third down back and see how well he performs. What is his contract? Five years, 33.7 mil. Really isn't even like super expensive as running back contracts generally aren't. But I imagine he's going to have a really good season. Made the playoffs at 9-7. and seven, Didn't win the division. 20th best offense. How did Barry do? Average five yards per carry. Had almost 1,200 yards. Only four touchdowns though. Averaged about 75 rushing yards per game. As a receiver, he had 13 catches for 217. No touchdowns, though. Yearly awards, Minshew wins MVP. Uh, I doubt we see any Niners in here looking for Barry Sanders. NFC Offense Player of the Year, no Barry. But best running back goes to Alvin Kamara. Really? Barry Sanders not inside the top 10? Oh, that's crazy. Also, it is kind of uh, cool to see a Wilder for the Bucks. Of course, James Wilder, really good running back for them. Who had a son play at Florida State. James Wilder Jr. But, I mean, Barry, I guess, didn't do anything crazy. We're in the playoffs nonetheless. Beat the Lions. Do we beat the Seahawks? Yes. Is Barry Sanders the Super Bowl winning formula? One game away from being in the Super Bowl. And here we are. And it's not the Bengals on the other side. If Barry Sanders is on the team, you're going to the Super Bowl. Very different from his real career. But it's Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs against Barry Sanders and the 49ers. Such a weird thing to say. The Chiefs are really, really tough to stop in Super Sim. So this one could be a very high scoring game for them. 
but it's 14-14. This is a really, really good game so far. Awesome Super Bowl. Chiefs go up 17-14, and we just can't get into the end zone. Oh, big stop. It's the fourth quarter. We're jumping in. I mean, Barry looks pretty good as a niner. And there he goes. Good juke. Breaks a tackle. Ooh. This is all Madden, too. It is arcade, but Barry Sanders is making some really, really nice plays. I'm tempted to put it on, like, rookie at some point and just try to make only blockbuster plays. But we're coming close on all Madden. We're just, like, a little bit away from big plays, like, every single play. It is third and five. I think we're going to put him on a block and release. I don't want to only force him the ball here because we need a first down to make something happen. Beautiful lob. Oh, look at the spin move from Barry. Look at him go. Barry Sanders fighting. Oh, he stopped at the one. What a run that was. That was crazy. And Najee Harris, of course, comes in on power and just runs right into the end zone. He's driving the bus. Oh, man, what a huge stop. We're going to win the game here. Barry Sanders this time is going to be a Super Bowl champion as a starter. And it's well-deserved. Is he a three-time Super Bowl champion now? Oh, that's fun. It's fourth and seven. I mean, the game's over. We'll do one final play. As long as this isn't a fumble, we win the Super Bowl. And it's not. 21-17 is your final. As once again, Barry Sanders is a Super Bowl champion. Doesn't matter if he starts or not. Doesn't matter what team he's on. He's won the Super Bowl again. Look out when Barry Sanders is coming through. He's not going to run over you. It's not a, he's not a freight train, so don't stand on the tracks. He'll run right around you. Nick Bosa is your Super Bowl MVP with three sacks. It's like a Von Miller type performance. And there he is up on the podium. Gonna hoist the Lombardi as he has won a Super Bowl with the 49ers. He's kind of in the back there. He's not really gonna hoist it. He'll clap along though. But yeah, Barry Sanders has won the Super Bowl as a 49er. What did he do in Sim when I wasn't using him? He had 21 carries for 102 as a receiver. Had three catches for 64. All he does is win Super Bowls, man. 2026 now, and it seems like the offense has only gotten better. Any big additions? Not that I can tell. Well, Taylor Decker and Michael Onwenu are here. Cody Ford's here, but I'm not sure if they were here already. Barry is up to a 95 overall. Only 26 years old. Looking really, really good overall. Acceleration even went up to 98. I don't know if that change of direction dropped down and is never coming back, but he finally had his first 1,000-yard year, and he finally got over 200 carries. It was a matter of time, but also averaged his most yards per carry in a year. So he has got all the momentum going forward. And you know what? I think Barry can probably punch it in on the goal line. We're going to make him the power back as well. It's all Barry all the time. Trying to repeat as Super Bowl champions. Going to do running back training boost. And see how this 49ers team competes. Didn't make the playoffs here though. Finished 5-11. Offense didn't even seem to be too bad. As Barry rushed for over 1,100 yards again. Only six touchdowns though. Average 4.8 yards per carry. As a receiver, 16 catches for 321 and a touchdown. Not sure he's going to get any votes for anything in here. NFC Offense Player of the Year? No. Best running back he should be in there. Yep, gets in there at number 9. It's a 96 overall. I don't know where he got that little eye like tape from that he had. I'm going to stick the clear visor on him because he did have that for a point in his career. But that little piece of eye tape was just bothering me a little bit. But he's still really, really good. Still developing. Because, of course, he is only 27 years old. He should develop for another season or two at least with that Superstar X Factor. So, we'll see what happens. We'll simulate to the playoffs again. I don't think I have him at power back right now. I'm interested to see how the stats defer. Playoff time. This time we did make the playoffs. 10-6, and six, won the division. And I hope it really ran through Barry Sanders. I mean, not a ton of attempts for him, all things considered, but 1,200-plus yards, 
five touchdowns, averaging almost 80 yards per game. As a receiver, 21 catches for 345 yards and three touchdowns. He was doing the most as Jamie Newman wins MVP with the Bears. Oh, my goodness. NFC Offense Player of the Year, Jamie Newman. Edward Davis at number eight. Best running back, goes to Saquon again. Barry Sanders, though, getting better inside the top five. He's up to a 98 overall. So I think for next season, Barry Sanders is going to end up being the starting running back. As we're trying to make another playoff run. Well, not starting running back, but starting power back. We're in the conference championship again. Oh my goodness. One game away from the Super Bowl again. Will it happen for us? Yes. The 49ers are back in the Super Bowl against the Titans. Ooh, this could be a fun one. I guess we just might as well jump in. Sure. 85 overall to their 83. They got Rondell Moore, though. Ooh. We'll get a drive going with Barry as we are in the same white 49ers uniforms. As there we go, Barry Sanders. Look at the speed there. Makes somebody miss with a spin move. He's still fighting. Look at Barry Sanders. Yeah, he's a beast. He is a beast. Third and eight. Barry leaking out of the backfield. Wide open. Breaks a tackle. Oh, there we go, Barry. Make a play. Tried to run a stretch and it did not work at all. And, I mean, they're starting to contain Barry a bit. Four rushes, negative two yards. We got to make something happen. Got to be slip screen time. Barry kind of covered, and he's just tackled. All right. Not a very high-scoring game so far, but we're starting to get in the driver's seat. 17-3. to Field goal by Tennessee. Kind of makes this a game. 24-6, to though. When we are on the 11, can we get a Barry Sanders touchdown? Has he scored a touchdown in this video? I'm actually not sure he has. Cut back. Spin. Breaks a tackle. I just got a juke there probably, right? Cut back. Good juke. Barry Sanders. There's the touchdown. That's what I'm talking about. Look at the way he navigates. Although that's not a Barry Sanders move. He hands the ball to the referee. He really just does look like Barry Sanders. Though. Oh my goodness. What a juke. Barry Sanders. Beautiful touchdown. So, of course, the 49ers, Super Bowl champions again with Barry Sanders. He doesn't ever get to hold the trophy, but, I mean, he is responsible for it. This QB, three touchdowns, pretty good. But Barry Sanders, 20 carries for 65 yards and a touchdown. It's tough to beat. So, 2028 20, now. Let's just take a look at Barry Sanders' contract, but also his legacy score. He's got two years remaining on a five-year deal. He's at a 98 overall at 28 years old. Change of direction still refuses to go up. Is he pro regressing at all? I hope not. No, he's not. Yeah, he is a monster. He won his fourth Super Bowl. We don't even see that with quarterbacks. Barry has somehow been on four Super Bowl winning teams. As far as running backs go all time, yeah, he's not super high up the list. I mean, you can't even find him. Adrian Peterson, my favorite player of all time, is... Uh, a Hall of Famer, of course. But look how far Barry Sanders is down the list. No yearly awards, but has won four Super Bowls. The most of any running back in here by at least double. No one has even won three. Barry has won four Super Bowls. He's just like, he's so ridiculous. So Barry is going to be the power halfback this year. And also he's the best option in that role. It's going to be really interesting to see how this team plays. Hopefully they feed Barry because... If he could somehow work his way into an MVP, which is extremely unlikely, but maybe an Offensive Player of the Year, also really unlikely. But Running Back of the Year, I would take. That'd be really cool. Back in the playoffs in 2028, checking out the stats here. Ed Davis, too many touchdowns, too many yards for my liking, but Barry, exactly. I mean, he only had five rushing touchdowns. They're getting vultured. He had 1,335 yards on 250 attempts, averaging over five yards per carry. Really, really good season, but only five touchdowns. As a receiver, had 18 catches for 220 and a touchdown. But five touchdowns is not going to get him votes for MVP. I'll tell you that for free. NFC Offense Player of the Year, Kyler Murray. No Barry Sanders. Best running back, Christian McCaffrey. Barry Sanders at number five. Of course, Barry Sanders is up to a 99 overall at 28 years old. He is a monster, carrying, approaching the 90s. Juke move continues to rise. Agility is at 98. 
back in the playoffs i mean barry i guess in theory could win a fifth super bowl he's only 28 giants in the divisional after a win against the bears and finally a playoff loss man i'm not hoping for one but i mean we were just winning and winning and winning and winning barry sanders is 28 years old and has four super bowls that is insane 2029 now seems like the offense took a bit of a step back barry sanders though in the final year of his deal He's 29 years old. Is he regressing at all? Still no, thankfully. Still has a chance to get even better. 99 elusive back. Seems like they're probably going to start to upgrade receiving back before power. A little bit unfortunate, but it's the last year. Time for him to do something big. I mean, there's a chance he comes back. He's not going to be very expensive. Is the power back and the third down back and the starting running back. Let's have a great year, Barry, in 2029. So we did make the playoffs at 9-7. and seven. It's kind of funny with this career sim because in real life, Barry Sanders like was amazing early on and then retired early. He retired after his age 30 season, and he's going to be going into that next year. And in this one, I mean, he really didn't get it going until uh, into his career because, of course, he was a backup. Didn't have 1,000 yards until his fifth season. All here with the Niners so far. But since then, he had, what, five years of at least 1,100 yards this year, 1,278 yards on 257 carries, averaging five yards per carry, only six touchdowns. Receiving, had 19 catches for 271, no touchdowns, unfortunately. Yearly awards, Mahomes wins MVP. We're not going to see anything for Offensive Player of the Year. Might see him in best running back. Yep, number four. Joe Mixon with the Packers this time gets it. My goodness. We'll see what happens in this wild card. We got the Bucks. We won. Now the Rams in the divisional. We won. It's the Packers and Joe Mixon. Everything's coming full circle. The guy that was Barry Sanders' starter to his backup, they now square off. Niners, Packers, for a shot at the Super Bowl. This would be the fifth Super Bowl Barry Sanders plays in, and it didn't happen. Didn't happen. So... This is Barry Sanders' age 30 season. This was the last season he played in real life. But he has signed a massive contract extension to keep him as a 49er. Signed through 2034. So not only is he signed for his age 30 season, he signed for 31, 32, 33, and 34-year-old seasons as a 49er. So I think it's safe to say he's probably going to be here for a minute. Man, the receivers on this team are not good. Brandon Ayuk is 32 and is a 77 overall. Barry's still leading in, uh, I mean, pretty much every category. We're going to check in. Nah, defense looking pretty sick, to be honest. At least a defensive line. But Barry Sanders, age 30 now. Is he regressing at all? I don't think so. Yeah, he's not. This might be his last season of not regressing, though. Stiff arm and trucking never got higher than 65. I very much doubt they get higher than that now. I think we've spent our coach XP on running back already. Yeah. O-line's already spent, too. So we'll just simulate this season. And hopefully Barry finally has one of those unreal, crazy years. His second to last year in real life rushed for over 2,000 yards. Did not make the playoffs in 2030. Went 5-11. 27th best offense. Barry's still doing what Barry does. 1,100 yards, 6 touchdowns. He just really is not pushing it into the end zone. I think it might be trucking or something like that. He had 19 catches for 331 and 3 touchdowns. Just uh, those touchdown numbers are not very good. And he's not going to be in there anywhere except for best running back. Finishes at third. So he's climbing the ranks each year. But just can't quite, like, do enough. 2031 now. I think it's as good a time as any to check on where Barry Sanders is. Not only on the legacy leaderboard, but all-time numbers. So currently, I mean, he's well behind every other person. At running back like Josh Jacobs is the best running back of all time it seems like 16 yearly awards Barry Sanders only has three but he also does have four Super Bowls and apparently three yearly awards those have to be Pro Bowls you'd assume if you look at career stats Barry Sanders has almost 10,000 rushing yards and 53 rushing touchdowns so he will break 10k rushing yards this year however we see rushing yards all time doesn't even put him close he needs about 5,000 more yards to have a shot at that. Probably even more. 
So we will simulate to the playoffs and see if he can get it done this year. Did not make the playoffs in 2031. Finished 6 and 10. Back to back years of not making the playoffs. It's a new feel for Barry Sanders. But he also maybe had the best year of his career 1,200 rushing yards, 8 touchdowns. I think you'd probably take 2028 20, over this season. But does go over 10,000 for his career as a receiver, had 15 catches for 205 yards and 2 touchdowns. So he is over 11,000 yards now for his career. But here's the thing. He's 32 years old and he's starting to regress. He made his fourth Pro Bowl though. So that's nice. But he's only a 97 overall. So he regressed at the end of last year. As you can see, speed's down, spin moves down, change of directions down to a 95. I'm thinking there's a pretty good chance at the end of this year, he's going to regress even more. He is under contract, though, for three more seasons. And I do want to see how he compares to actual Barry Sanders all time. Just to get a better idea. So rushing yards, we are chasing. Well, did it screw up? Because Barry Sanders is now a taken name. So they just took Barry Sanders off the list. <laughs> did it screw it up that badly? Actually, I see what happens. He got pushed off the list because Ezekiel Elliott, Josh Jacobs, Saquon, Joe Mixon, Christian McCaffrey, Nick Chubb, Alvin Kamara, they're all past him now. Even Frank Gore, but he did that um, in real life, right? So, or if not, he's super close. Yeah, he passed him in real life. So Barry Sanders just got pushed off the list. I am super interested to see whether or not Barry Sanders in the game, now down to a 93 overall, 32 years old, will catch up to Barry Sanders, the real player, in terms of all-time rushing yards. It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough, but it is doable. We'll see if he does it here in 2032. Another year not making the playoffs. Finished 7-9. and nine. Ed Davis threw for over 4,000 yards, and Barry Sanders is under 1,000 yards. 948 and 6 touchdowns. The regression's showing, but he's still a 93 overall. He's not playing like it. Not at all. Under 1,000 yards as a uh, receiver. 21 catches for 221. I mean, I'd be shocked if he even gets uh, on best running back here. He probably won't. Number four, how? How? Was this just a really bad year for running backs? I mean, it must have been. So if we remember, Barry Sanders has two years remaining on his monster contract. And he is starting to regress a lot. Keeping his acceleration and agility for the most part. But break tackles going down. Carrying's going back down. Ball carrier vision is not uh, particularly changed. But juke and spinner going down. Change of directions even going down. Not ideal. He's a 33-year-old running back. He's got two more seasons to go. Will he play out his full contract? Is he going to end up being short? Is he going to retire after this season? We'll have to see. No playoffs again. Ironically, losing to the Lions up in the top left. 6-10 and 10 for the 49ers. And the offense seems to just be bad. Barry Sanders back to averaging over four yards per carry. Only four touchdowns. Still under 1,000 yards. And as a receiver... Caught 21 balls for 3, 10, and 3 touchdowns. So as a receiver, he's actually had a pretty good career. See him as a runner. 13,000 career yards, averaging 4.7 per carry. 71 touchdowns. As a receiver, just over 3,300 yards and 20 touchdowns. Finished at 4th for best running back. I think it's going to be really, really tough for Barry Sanders to reach any of his accolades in real life. He was just such a great player. And even in Madden, he just has not been able to equal that. 2034 now, last year of Barry's contract. He is down to an 83 overall. He lost Superstar X Factor. Still got great vision and agility, but all the rest are down a lot. This is probably the final year of Barry Sanders' career. Let's go out with a bang, Barry. Didn't make the playoffs again. Seven and nine in a very competitive NFC West. Our offense is terrible. 31st best Barry, under four yards per carry, 853 yards, four touchdowns. Hate to say it, but at 35 years old, and it's not shocking because he's 35, but he is super washed. Three straight years of under 1,000 yards, struggling to get to four yards per carry in each of those seasons. As a receiver, he had what? 29 catches for 380 and four touchdowns. He's evolving as a receiver. He's putting up really, really, really solid receiving numbers but isn't doing much as a runner anymore. 
dropping a five for best running back. Marlon Max on the Eagles. And let me see career stats because Barry Sanders is in all likelihood going to retire right here. He's almost at 14,000 yards. 75 rushing touchdowns. In his career, he had 99, as we talked about at the start of the video. But he has 24 receiving touchdowns in his career. In real life, only had 10. Also, had under 3,000 receiving yards for his career. But here, he has almost 4,000. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to do player retention. I'm going to do running back retirement influence. And I'm going to try to keep Barry Sanders for one more season. Just one more year, Barry. You got it. He's going to be down to like a 78 overall. It's not going to be a good year, but at least we'll go over 4,000 total yards. Did he retire? Let's see here. NFC West. Deshaun Watson on the Rams retires, but Barry is still around. Let's see here. He's not on the team because his contract expired. So I wonder where he actually signed. He might even be in free agency. I think that's actually kind of likely. Barry Sanders is not here, but I didn't see him retire. Hmm. I mean, he had to have retired. The oldest running back is 31. Chase Young and Cole Komet are going to the Hall of Fame. What about Barry? Let me see the legacy leaderboard. He would be on there, right? Unless he retired. So, yeah, he definitely retired. He's gone. Completely erased. Never got onto the NFL records list for his career. Didn't come close to being the player that he was in real life. As Josh Jacobs is the all-time leading rusher. So close to all-time rushing touchdowns. Oh my goodness, Josh Jacobs is an animal. He's an animal. But that's going to do it for the Barry Sanders career sim. In real life, played for the Lions his entire career of, what, 10 years? 9 years? Yeah, 10 seasons all with the Lions. In this, he does 14 seasons with the Bengals and with the 49ers. Gets just to about 14,000 yards. But again, couldn't equal his success on the ground. But total between rushing and receiving yards, it was about 18,000, which is what he did for his career. A little bit less. It's tough to equal the Barry of real life. All-time great. That's going to do it for me, guys. Hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. Thank you so much for watching the video, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy. Back to the house, defense a joke, I'm laughing so loud.